Good morning, boys and girls. My name is Miss Shanna, and I am going to help warm up your voices so we can sing with our artists on stage. So I'm going to sing a question, and you are going to sing it back. And I bet you guys can do this without me even modeling it. Let's try it. Won't you please stand up, up, up? Won't you please sit down, down, down? Yes, you That was perfect. Did you notice how when we stood up, our voices got higher? And when we sat back down, our voices got lower. lower. Excellent. Won't you please stand up, up, up? Yes, you oh, thank you for following my tempo. You guys got faster. Let's make some more shapes with our voices, but let's follow our hands. So the first one, we're gonna go low and then go high, like this. Ooh. Now let's go high to low. Ooh. What do you think it would sound like if we went round and round? Woo, 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 woo. Excellent. You guys are ready to, to try my shapes up on the screen. So let's take our fingers and trace with our voices what we are seeing on an ooh. Ready? Go. Ooh. Excellent. Let's do number two. Woo, 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 woo. Fantastic. I bet you can do the third one by yourself. Ready? Go. That was perfect. Won't you please sit down, down, down? Yes, we will sit down, down, down. Are we ready for the show to start? Yes! Okay, let's put our hands together and welcome Mr. Sid to the stage! Every song tells a story, every two tells a tale. Let me hear you guys sing. Every rhythm has a reason. Don't you want to know? Don't you want to know what makes the music go? Come along and see. Make your discovery. I can sing it. I can say it. I can dance it. I can play it. I can sing it. I can say it, I can dance it, I can play it, I can go explore the world of music at my door, my city and my neighborhood, singing songs and feeling good, I can know what makes the music grow, I can know what makes the music go. Great job everybody, give yourselves a big round of applause. Thank you so much, Miss Shanna, and good morning, everybody. My name is Sid, and I am going to be your host for today's concert. Now, when we come to Musical Explorers concerts, we become explorers of music and languages and cultures from all over the world. So tell me, are you all ready to be Musical Explorers with me? Yeah! Excellent. Now, before we get started, I have a question for you all. How many of you have either parents or grandparents that came to New York from another country? Raise your, oh my goodness, that is a lot of you. Who can tell me what country your parents or grandparents came from? Uh, can you tell me where do your parents or grandparents come from? Hmm? From England, my goodness, all the way on the other side of the Atlantic Ocean. Where else do we have parents or grandparents from? Yes, right here. Yeah. From where? Oh, from Bangladesh. That's not close to England at all. Where, where else do we have parents or grandparents from? Yes, right over here. From the Dominican Republic. My goodness, you know what, guys? We are a very diverse audience. We come from all over the world. And you know what? Just like you, our singers at today's concert, they also come from all over the world. But now, just like you, they live right here in New York City. And they have brought their music and their languages with them today to Carnegie Hall to help us learn about their cultures and their communities. And they're also going to help us explore a really interesting musical question. And that question is, 
How can music represent the spirit of a community? Let's all ask that question together. How can music represent the spirit of a community? Very good, and our singers are going to help us answer that question. We're also going to have a word wall where we put words that help us to describe what it is that we hear in music. And we'll see that just a little bit later. So, are you all ready to meet our first singer? Yeah! All right, well, she is coming today from Woodside in Queens. Give a big round of applause to our Irish singer, Anne-Marie! Well, good morning, Anne-Marie. And Mad, you said. Wait, I'm sorry, what did you say? Mad and Ma. Mad and Ma, what does that mean? It means good morning in Irish Gaelic. Oh, that's right, because in Ireland, you speak both English and Irish Gaelic. You know what? Let's all say Mad and Ma and Marie. And Mad and Ma to you. And it sounded like you were also singing in Irish Gaelic as you were playing that music. So was that traditional Irish music? It was. You know, after a long day on the farm, Irish farmers used to like together to dance. Of course, it was one of their favorite activities, and music always makes it a lot more fun. That's true, and that sounded like it would be really fun movement to move and dance along to. Now, I saw you also brought some friends with you to help you play your music. Uh, can you introduce us to them and to their instruments? Yes, this is Martin. He plays the Bosca Kiol, which is the Irish button accordion. <laughs> Very cool. And this is Marie. She plays the fiddle, which is like the violin, but more fun. Awesome. Let's all say Modern Ma, Marie, and Martin. Very good, guys. And let's give another big round of applause to Anne Marie. So, are you all ready to meet our second singer? Good. Well, she is originally from Colombia in South America, but today she is coming from Jackson Heights in Queens. Give a big round of applause to Marta! <laughs> Good morning, Marta. Buenos dias, sí. Oh, wait, wait, I think I know this one. Buenos dias means good morning in Spanish, is that right? Yes. Did you all know that buenos dias means good morning in Spanish? I thought you might. Let's all say buenos dias, Marta. 
Buenos días a todos. So, Marta, when you came onto the stage and you were singing, were you singing in Spanish? No, no, no. Those just made up word syllables that I created to make this song. Oh, so those are just made up or improvised sounds that you made for this song. So, is your entire song made up of made up sounds? <laughs> no, no, no. Just the chorus. The rest of the song is in Spanish. Okay, so some of the song is those made up sounds, and the rest of the song is in Spanish, which is the language spoken in Colombia. Is that right? Yes. Excellent. And, and what's the name of the song you're going to sing? This song is called Tu Voz, which means your voice. Excellent. So let's sing along with some of those made up or improvised sounds as Marta sings Tu Voz. <laughs> Tanta luz salió de tu boca y la dulzura de tu voz llenó mi voz. Tantas palabras enredadas en el alma se quedaron en mi mente y quieren todas celebrar la perfección de tu cantar. Taca 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 ta, que que que, taca 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 ta. Taca 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 ta, que que que, taca 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 ta. Y tanto swing salió de tus manos, tanto sabor que se quedó en mi corazón. Será tu Cuba que no quiere que te olvides de tu sangre y de tu ritmo y de los negros y mulatos que se inventaron el sol. Tu voz es una hoguera, una hoguera encendida por el sol. Tu voz hecha de arena, de arena. Tu voz es una vela, una vela encendida por el sol. Tu voz hecha de arena, de arena de viento mar y rojo. Ay, ay. de tu voz llenó mi voz tantas palabras enredadas en el alma se quedaron en mi mente y quieren todas celebrar la perfección de tu cantar tu voz es una hoguera una hoguera encendida por el sol tu voz hecha de arena de arena de viento marido tu voz es una vela tu voz hecha de arena Salió de tu boca y tanta voz de tu corazón. Taca 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 ta, que que que, taca 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 ta. Taca 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 ta, que que que, taca 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 ta. Thank you so much, Marta, and great job, everybody, singing along with those made-up or improvised sounds. And you know what? I think improvise is a great first word to put up on our word wall as one way to describe what it is that we hear in music. And we'll keep adding words to that word wall as we keep learning new words. So are you all ready to meet our third and final singer? She is originally from South Africa, but now she lives in Morningside Heights right here in Manhattan. Everyone help me welcome CD. Tu lam tua na tu la, tu lam tua na tu la, tu lam tua na tu la. Oh, good morning, Sidi. San Bonani. 
Yeah, I don't know that word. What, what did you say? Sanbonani. Sanbonani. And, and what does that mean? It means good morning. It also means good morning. Let's all say Sanbonani Sidi. Sanbonani. And what language is that? This is Zulu. Zulu. Okay, so Zulu is a language that's spoken in South Africa? Yes, we have 11 official languages and Zulu is one of them. Did you say 11 official languages? Yes. That is a lot of languages, my goodness. <laughs> so, Sidi, tell me, how is music important to the community in South Africa? Music in South Africa brings the community together, it brings the families together. We, we are able to tell stories through music, and when you're going through some hard times, music always you know, comforts you. Wow, so it sounds like music is very important to the community in yes. South Africa. Yes. It also sounds like something you do with other people. Yes. Now, I noticed that when Sidi came onto the stage, she was singing alone or solo. But I also see you brought some friends with yes, you fine. to help sing with you. C yes. Can you introduce us to them? This is Junior and this is Bongi. Excellent. Let's all say San Bonani, Junior and Bongi. San Bonani, Junior and Bongi. Excellent. So on this next song, Sidi is going to start by singing alone or solo. And then Bongi is going to join her and they will sing together or a duet. And solo and duet are two more words we can put right up on our word wall. Now, Sidi, this next song, Tulamdwana, yes. has some very fun hand movements we can do along with you. Uh, yes. Can you teach them to us? Yes. Nampaya omame. Let's do that. Nampaya omame. Betweli mitwalo. Betweli mitwalo. Now this song has two sections. The first section is Tulam Tuana, meaning hush my child. The second section is a little vibrant and it says Nampaya Omame means there goes our mothers. Betweli Mitualo with goodies on their heads. Ningribo, Ningribo, yeah, Nampaya Omame, there goes our mothers. Excellent. So let's follow along with those hand movements and sing along as they sing Tulamdwana. Tula, Tulamdwana, Tula, Tulamdwana, Tula, Tulamdwana, Tula, Tula, Tulamdwana, Tula, Tulamdwana, Tula. Tulam Dwana Tula Sam Tata Sam Bega Etala Wasuge Wakala Wati Mai Babo Sam Tata Sam Bega Etala Wasuge Wakala what in my babo? Nampaya o mame, betweli mi chwalo. Nampaya o mame, betweli mi chwalo. Ningi bo, ningi bo, nampaya o mame. Ningi bo, ningi bo, nampaya o mame. Nampaya o mame, betweli mi chwalo. Nampaya o mame, betweli. Great job, everybody, singing and moving along with that song. That was great. Now, Anne-Marie, I see that you have brought a very interesting instrument with you that I have never seen before. Uh, can you tell us about this? Yes, this is the Irish frame drum. It's just a simple wooden frame with goat skin stretched across the top. An Irish frame drum. And does it have a name? It's called the Bauron. The Bauron. Can we all say Bauron? Bauron. 
very good. Now, I know you're going to play the Bauron on this next song. Can you show us what it looks and sounds like when you play? Sure. You take this special stick called the tipper, you hold it kind of like a pencil, and then you swing it back and forth until it hits the head. Very cool. So as Anne-Marie plays her Bauron along with this next song, we can join in by playing our own imaginary Bauruns using our hands. So everyone, take one hand, and that will be your Bauron. And everyone, take your other hand with two fingers, and that will be your tipper, the stick you play it with. And we can play and sing along with Anne-Marie as she sings, O Row the Rattlin' Bar. Oh, Row the Rattlin' Bar, down in the valley, oh. And in that bog there was a tree, a rare tree, a rattling tree. With the tree in the bog and the bog down in the valley, oh, oh, row the rattling bog, the bog down in the valley, oh, oh, row the rattling bog, the bog down in the valley, oh. And on that tree there was a limb, a rare limb, a rattling limb. With the limb on the tree and the tree in the bog and the bog down in the valley, oh, oh, row the rattling bog, the bog down in the valley. And on that limb there was a branch, a rare branch, a rattling branch. With a branch and the limb and the limb and the tree and the tree and the bog and the bog down in the valley, oh, oh, row the rattling bog, the bog down in the valley, oh, oh, row the rattling bog, the bog down in the valley, oh. And on that branch there was a twig, a rare twig, a rattling twig. With a twig on the branch, and the branch on the limb, and the limb in the tree, and the tree in the bog, and the bog down in the valley, oh, oh, row the rat and bog, the bog down in the valley, oh, oh, row the rat and bog, the bog down in the valley, oh. And on that twig there was a nest, a rare nest, a rat and nest. With a nest on the twig, and the twig on the branch, and the branch on the limb, and the limb in the tree, and the tree in the bog, and the bog down in the valley, oh, oh, row the rat and bog, the bog down in the valley, oh, oh, row the rat. And in that nest there was an egg, a rare egg, a rattling egg. With the egg in the nest, and the nest and the twig, and the twig and the branch, and the branch with the limb, and the limb and the tree, and the tree in the bog, and the bog down in the valley, oh, oh, roll the rattling bog, bog down in the valley, oh, oh, roll the rattling bog, down in the valley, oh. And on that egg there was a bird, a rare bird, a rattling bird. With the bird and the egg and the egg and the nest and the nest and the twig and the twig and the branch and the branch and the limb and the limb and the tree and the tree and the bog and the bog down in the valley, oh, 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 rat and bog, the bog down in the valley, oh, oh, roll the rat and bog, the bog down in the valley, oh. And on that bird there was a feather, a rare feather, a rattling feather. With the feather and the bird and the bird and the egg and the egg and the nest and the nest and the twig and the twig and the branch and the branch and the limb and the limb and the tree and the tree and the bog bog down in the valley, oh, oh, row the rat and bog down in the valley, oh, oh, row the rat and bog down in the valley, oh. And on that feather there was a flea, a rare flea, a rattling flea. With the flea and the feather, the feather and the bird, bird and the egg and the egg and the nest, the nest and the twig and the twig and the branch, branch and the limb and the limb and the tree and the tree and the bog and the bog down in the valley, oh, oh, roll the back and bog, bog down in the valley, oh, oh, roll the back and bog, bog down in the valley, oh. Thank you so much, Ed Marie, and great job, everybody singing along to that whole song and playing your own imaginary Bowerons. That was great. You know what I noticed? Every time Anne-Marie added a new verse to the song, it would start off slowly and then get faster and faster and faster and faster. So you know what? Slow and fast. Two more words we can add to our word wall. Excellent work, guys. Now, Marta, the next song that you're going to play, I heard, is inspired by a festival that happens every year in Colombia. Is that right? Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yes. This next song is called Carnavaleando, which means carnival. The carnival, those carnavales, are something that we celebrate in every single town of my country, Colombia. And it's one day a year where everybody gets together to eat, to play, and make music together. To eat, play, and make music. That sounds like so much fun. And you know what? For this next song, we are going to have some very special help 
helpers join us on stage. Can we please have a big round of applause for our special helpers? Come right here. Hi, what's your name? Uswa. Uswa, nice to meet you. What's your name? Jacasey. Jacasey, nice to meet you. And what's your name? Ayana. Ayana, nice to meet all of you. I'm Sid. So, here's what we're going to do. We are going to trace the highs and the lows of the melody of this no next song using our hands and our bodies. So let's all stand up right in front of our chairs and we will practice this together. Ready? So we're going to start by placing our hands on our heads. And we'll go from our heads to our shoulders, to our hips, then from our heads to our shoulders, back to our heads, good. Then again from our heads to our shoulders to our hips, and finally from our shoulders to our hips to our knees. Excellent work, guys. Let's practice that with some music. Marta, can you play the chorus of the song so we can practice? Yes. La 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 You guys are excellent at this. So let's get ready to move along and trace those highs and lows with Marta as she sings Carnavaleando. Qué linda forma de pensarte así suspirando. Qué linda forma de quererte así cantando. Pasó los días teniéndote así a mi lado Y así queriéndote sigue mi voz cantando, cantando Y así en silencio te grita mi voz cantando La 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 I'm sure you can guess, since we were tracing the highs and the lows of the melody on that last song, high and low are two more words we can put up onto our word wall. Boy, that was a lot of fun. Now, Marta, I noticed you're not just singing and playing by yourself up here. You also brought a lot of friends with you today. Can you introduce us to them and to the instruments that they're playing? Yes. First, this is a type of guitar. This is Yulia. She plays the flute. 
This is Juancho, he plays the guitar and the cuatro. That's Fernando, he plays the bass. This is Yayo, he plays the congas. The bongo. The cajón. And the drum set. Wow, so Yayo is playing four different percussion instruments by himself that all sound very different. You know what else I noticed? Junior and Bongi brought their own kind of percussion instrument with them. Uh, Bongi, can you tell us about this kind of drum? Yes, this is an African drum called djembe. Uh, it comes from West Africa, uh, originating in Senegal and Mali. And what it is is a solid piece of wood and a goat skin. And uh, can you play a little so we can hear what it sounds like? Cool, thanks so much, guys. It's really cool to hear. Thanks, Yayo. That one. We've got a lot of drumming going. They were, they were improvising or making it up as they went along as they played their drums. You know what else I noticed? I heard that they sometimes changed their dynamics. Sometimes they would play very, very soft, and sometimes it would be very, very loud. So soft and loud are two more words I think we can add to our word wall. We are learning so much today. But, but wait a minute, guys. You know, all of our musicians up here on stage, they all have their own cool instruments, but but we don't have any instruments of our own. Can, can we still make music if we don't have instruments? Yes. Yeah. Wait, Bongi, we can? Yes, yes, we can. How? Yes. Well, you see, see, in my culture, we don't really use a lot of drum for music. Uh, we use our voices as percussion, and we also use consonants and syllabus from our words and our language. So wait, you're telling me that you can use your voice as like a drum? Yes. Can yes, you show yes. me? Uh huh. <laughs> that is so cool. Bonky, do you think you could teach us how to make some cool percussive sounds with our voices? Yes, yeah, so um, today I'm going to teach you three letters which are the existing letters in our languages. Okay, three letters, all right. Three letters, so the first one would be a letter C. Letter C. Which is... Ooh. And we can pick up a word, we can use a word which means an earring. But the next letter we can use is the letter X. Letter X, okay. X. And we can use a word which means frog. Ik o o. Ik o o. Ik o o. Ik o o. Ooh, that's hard. And and the last one is 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 the most common one, which are is called a click letter, which is a letter Q. Q. Okay. Letter Q goes. And we can use a word 
which means an egg. Ikanda. 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 So we have letter C, which is. We have letter X, which is. And we have letter Q, which is. Very cool. And are we going to hear some of these sounds in your next song? Yes, absolutely. And what's that song called? The song called Bezembe. All right, so let's listen for some of those new sounds we learned and see if you can throw in some of your own. As Sidi and Bongi sing Bezembe. Bongi and CD and Junior for teaching us those new sounds and great job everybody adding those to that song. You know what? Let's all take a deep breath in through our noses and out through our mouths. Oh, that feels good. Let's do that one more time. A deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Excellent. Now, this next song that we're going to hear is a, it's a quieter song. It's a song that has a very different mood, a different feeling to it. So, Anne-Marie, can you tell us a little bit about this next song we're going to hear? Yes, this song is about a girl whose love goes off to war and she misses him very much. Now, I have a question for you, Anne-Marie. What is the, the mood or the feeling that you feel when you sing this song? I feel a little sad, but also hopeful. All right, so you know what, guys? Let's listen, see if you can tell why it might make Anne-Marie feel a little bit sad but also a little bit hopeful when she sings this song. And let's listen and sing along as she sings Johnny's Gone for Soldier. Oh, I wish I were on yonder hill Tis there I'd sit and cry my fill Till every tear would turn a bell My Johnny's gone for soldier well, Johnny, my love, he went away He would not heed what I could say He won't be back for many's a day My Johnny's gone for soldier Shoo, 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 la, bra. Oh, shoo, oh, shoo, la, and he loves me When he comes back, he will marry me My Johnny's gone for soldier I'll sell my wreck, I'll sell my reel I'll sell me only spinning wheel And buy my love a sword of steel My journey's gone for soldier I'll tie my petticoats, I'll tie them red Around the world I'll bake my bread Till I find my love alive or dead My journey's gone for soldier Sure, 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 la, la, oh, sure, oh, sure, and he loves me 
when he comes back, he will marry me. My journey's gone for soldier. But now my love has gone to France to try his fortune to advance. If he returns, it is but a chance. My journey's gone for soldier. Sure, 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 la la gra, oh, sure, oh, sure, la. And he loves me. When he comes back, he will marry me. My journey's gone for soldier. I wish I had my heart again. Tis gladly I would not complain. My journey's gone for soldier. Sure, 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 la gra. Oh, sure, no, sure, and he loves me. When he comes back, he will marry me. My journey's gone for soldier. Sure, sure. Oh, sure, oh, sure, and he loves me. When he comes back, he will marry me. My journey's gone for soldiers. Thank you so much, Anne Marie. That was beautiful and great job, everybody singing along. That was great. So, you know, the mood of a song, the feeling of that song really does affect the way that we hear and listen to that song. So I think mood is another great word that we can add to our word wall. Now, Marsha, the mood of this next song is very different, is that right? Yes. Tell us a little bit about this next song. This song is called El Hormigueo, and it has a very happy mood. And Hormigueo, it's a way in the Spanish to describe that tingle that we feel when we are happy and excited. Oh, wow. So, so it's about the, a happy, tingling feeling that we might feel throughout our whole body. Now, Marta, can you show us some your interesting hand movements that you have that help us to express that happy, tingling feeling? Yes. That tingle starts on the head, in la cabeza. Then it goes into the chest and el pecho and starts all over again. Excellent. So let's listen to the mood of this next song and use our hands to express that happy, tingling feeling we get as Marta sings El Hormigueo. Ay, el hormigueo que yo siento cuando te veo. Ay, son una mariposita. Ay, son una mariposita, van volando por mi cuerpo cuando te veo. Ay, el hormigueo, el hormigueo que yo siento cuando te veo, el hormigueo que yo siento cuando te veo empieza por la cabeza y el hormigueo empieza por la cabeza y va bajando por el pecho, va bajando por el pecho, ay, el hormigueo, ay, este hormigueo. Empieza por la cabeza, sigue por el pecho y vuelve a comenzar, mira, empieza por la cabeza, sigue por el pecho y vuelve a comenzar. Pero este hormigueo que yo siento no es muy bueno y se me mete por el pecho y no me deja respirar. Y es que me empieza un cosquillo cuando te veo, el corazón se me acelera, siento que se va a estallar. El hormigueo, ay, este hormigueo. Empieza por la cabeza, sigue por el pecho y vuelve a comenzar, mira. Empieza por la cabeza, sigue por el pecho y vuelve a comenzar. Empieza por la cabeza, sigue por el pecho y vuelve a comenzar, mira. Empieza por la cabeza, sigue por el pecho y vuelve a comenzar. Ay, el hormigueo que yo siento cuando te veo, el hormigueo que yo siento. Cuando te veo empieza por la cabeza y el hormigueo empieza por la cabeza y va bajando por el pecho, va bajando por el pecho, ay, el hormigueo, ay, este hormigueo. Empieza por la cabeza, sigue por el pecho y vuelve a comenzar, mira, empieza por la cabeza, sigue por el pecho y vuelve a comenzar. Pero este hormigueo que yo siento no es muy bueno y se me mete por el pecho y no me deja respirar y es que me empieza un cosquillo cuando te veo el corazón se me acelera siento que se va a estallar el hormigueo ahí este hormigueo empieza
Empieza por la cabeza, sigue por el pecho y vuelve a comenzar. Mira, empieza por la cabeza, sigue por el pecho y vuelve a comenzar. Empieza por la cabeza, sigue por el pecho y vuelve a comenzar. Mira, empieza por la cabeza, sigue por el pecho y vuelve a comenzar. Ay. Thank you so much, Marta, and great job, everybody, following along. Now, our last song is a song that I heard, Bongi, it's a song that you wrote, you composed, is that right? Yes, yes. Tell us a little bit about this last song. Now, this song is called Ingola. You want to say Ingola? Ingola. 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 Ingola is a reference to anything that has motion. Mm, okay. Can be a bus, can be a train, can be a car can be a motorcycle, it can be a bicycle, it even can be a human being. <laughs> okay, and yes. uh, I hear that there's a part of this song that you're going to teach us, is that right? Yes, so in this song, um, I use an old way of songwriting which comes from the storytelling from my culture, which uses a method of call and response. So what I did is the, the verses are in English and Zulu, and then the response is in a form of a chant. So I'm going to sing, sing the verses, and we all together are going to sing the chant. Very cool. So we're going to learn and sing this song through call and response. And call and response are two more words we can add to our word wall. So, Bongi, can you teach us the part of the song we need to know? Yeah, so it goes like, Tululu, 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 Halalahepm, Halalahepm, Halalahepm. Now I said ingola means something that moves, right? So that means in order for anything to move, it needs what? Power and energy. So we're going to say this chululu with much more excitement and energy. So we go chululu. No. No. Chululu. Chululu. That's more like it. So what we're going to do is I want you guys to create your own movement. Move along with the song. You can go as crazy as you want. This is a last song. <laughs> this is a happy song. So we're all going to stand up on our feet and the band is going to join us. We are going to go in this thing all up. All right. Are we ready? Yeah. Are we ready? Yeah. Okay. All right. So stand up in front of your chairs. Get ready to move however the music makes you feel. And let's all sing along on the board.
moving the way the music made you feel. Excellent. Let's all take another deep breath in through our noses and out through our mouths. Oh, that feels so good. Let's do that one more time. A deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Wow. We have learned so much from our artists today about their cultures and their communities. And we have also learned so many words that we have put up on our word wall as ways that we can describe what it is that we hear in music. We heard Marta improvise on two votes. We heard both solo and duet on Tulam Dwana. Tula, Tulam Dwana, Tula, Tulam Dwana, Tula, Tulam Dwana, Tula. We heard fast and slow in Oro the Ratlin Bog. With the flea on the feather, and the feather and the bird, and the bird and the egg, and the egg and the nest, and the nest and the twig, and the twig and the branch, and the branch and the limb, and the limb and the tree, and the tree and the bog, and the bog down in the valley, oh. We heard melodies that went between high and low in Carnavaliando. La 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 we heard loud and soft in our percussion jam. We explored how music can express different moods in Johnny's Gone for Soldier. So, 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 la gra. Oh, sure, oh, sure, and he loves me. And in El Or Miguel. Empieza por la cabeza, sigue por el pecho y vuelve a comenzar. Mira, empieza por la cabeza, sigue por el pecho y vuelve a comenzar. And we learn through call and response on In Ola. So much today about how to talk about what it is we hear in music. And you know what? Let's give a big round of applause to your teachers for helping you to learn so much. And of course, we need to thank all of our amazing artists up here on this stage. We have Miss Shanna, Shane on the piano, and Marie, our Irish singer, Marie on the Irish fiddle, Martin on the button accordion. Bongi on vocals and djembe. Junior on the djembe. <laughs> CD, our South African singer. We have Wancho on the guitar. Fernando on the bass. Marta, our Colombian singer. Yayo on the drums and percussion. And Julia on the flute. And now we are going to sing our musical explorer song one last time. And this time, we are going to invite our singers to sing in their own styles. And we'll repeat after them. So, I'll start. I can sing it. Now you. I can sing it. And Marie. I can say it. I can say it. See thee. I can dance it. I can dance it. Marta. I can play it. I can play it. One more time. I can sing it. I can sing it. I can say it. I can say it. I can dance it. I can dance it. I can play it. I can play it. So let's all stand up in front of our chairs and sing along together from the beginning. Every song has a story. I can 
the spring. Thank you.